Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and this is your reminder to dig into the seasonal sticker books that you bought last year. There are so many new fabulous collections that release every season, and part of my job is to share them with you, and they are amazing. But I also want you to remember that there are great things um, that you might already have in your stash that you can use, seasonal sticker books that we put away during the other parts of the year, and you need to remember to pull them out. So this for this plan with me, I'm going to use Autumn in the Country, a planner sticker pack from Rong Rong. Love, love, love this uh, sticker pack. I've also pulled out Coffee Queen because I thought there might be some stickers in here um, that might go really well with the Autumn in the Country sticker book. So we're going to pull that. I do have uh, the Rainbow Collection, another one from Rong Rong in the past year. And then one little bit of her new collection, Amber Allure. Love the layering pieces in this collection. So I do want to try to give those a try as well. So a lot of different sticker books. We'll see what I end up pulling from, but I'm wanting this Autumn in the Country to be the primary book for uh, this particular plan with me. All right, I will link everything down below. Otherwise, let's go. We are certainly in the midst of release season. There are some fantastic new sticker books, new planners, lots of fun new things on the market. But don't forget, you probably have a lot of gorgeous things in your stash that you can use for your seasonal spreads. Don't get me wrong, I am all about all of the new stickers. I love them, but I also loved these stickers from last year, so I definitely want them to find a way into my planner, and that's what we are working on today. Kind of what defines a wrong, wrong theme spread for me are these fantastic girls. And I wanted to be able to finish one of the sticker sheets in this pack. So I went with a ton of girls on the spread. and I'm going to use them as the basis of the spread. What I'm going to do is a little bit formulaic, but I'm kind of dispersed the girls throughout the spread. Then I'm taking some washi tape. I ripped it in half. That is going to be the landing, the ground, if you will, that the girls will live on or be anchored to just like that. And we're going to start with the decorative piece of the spread and then build from there. Now, originally I had this one right here, but her leg kind of goes over the side and I would have have had to punch um, where her leg was. So I auditioned some other stickers to fit right there. That one was a little bit too wide too. So I went with the one that was kind of the skinniest sticker just because of how this girl was standing and she fits right there on the edge as well. I'm wanting the girls to be on the vertical lines. That way I can still write in the space on either side of them. If they were smack in the middle of a box, I would basically lose uh, almost that whole box, but I wanted these spaces to still be really functional. Um, like I've said before, it's a busy season of life and there's lots going on, so I definitely need plenty of writing room in my catch-all planner. Now I played with the placement of the girls just a little bit because I didn't want it to form any definite lines, no specific pattern. So this one is going to fit perfectly right here. Her head pops up over the top, adorable. And then these, originally I was gonna have them all standing to the right. However, it looked kind of funky with them going off of the page in this case. So I wanted uh, to make room for where they could stand. So we'll move these bottom two to the left. Love how this has come together. Normally, I love a checklist sticker. However, none of the checklist stickers from Wrong Wrong actually fit in the boxes for the Happy Planner, and I opted to go with bullet points this time. There are some great bullet points in Amber Allure, which is a fantastic sticker book, and I'm excited to use that one as well. But let's just take some bullet points for now, and you can see each of the girls that I put on the page are kind of anchoring the different to-do lists. I use bullet points primarily as to-do lists throughout the week, and then I like to use my boxes for functions, for schedules, for appointments, things like that. So we're gonna add the bullet points they are ready to go. Now let's take a look at the functionality aspect of this spread. 
I feel like a spread looks best when it has a mix of different types of stickers. Rong Rong has a lot of beautiful functional boxes that also have a decorative piece to them, like these couple of boxes that I have right here. They have lines or they have a little bit of an illustration. It's nice to have those in your spread. I like to balance them out with more basic boxes that are just uh, have the color border or just something a little bit more basic. I want to balance the two out. I'm making sure each day has a box or two so I can write the schedule for the day, write all of the practices and things like that that are going on. And once again, I'm using the girls as almost an anchor for where I want the boxes to be, making sure the boxes are always kind of located by girls. The exception would be the one that is on Wednesday. That one didn't end up right next to a girl, but you'll see how that uh, evens out here in the end. I love a double box on the weekend, so we're going to move this one. This goes really well right here. I'm trying to just audition where these different stickers will go. That's going to fit really nicely right there. So let's pick up her and then make room for the double box over on the weekend, layering nicely. And then this one can fit right here, which breaks up some of the all the top row, all the bottom row feel by putting a box in the middle. Again, a little bit less predictable, but these are all of the more, uh, they're functional boxes because you can write in them, but they're also decorative because they do have illustrations. So I have a nice mix of those. I want to balance it out now with some more standard functional boxes. For the more standard boxes, I want to go with the Rainbow Collection sticker book. I love how Rong Rong not only just has rainbow color boxes in here, but some of them have a different texture, or at least the texture looks different, and that creates some fun color variation. You can see how I'm going to layer those with the decorative boxes, still bringing color into the spread, which is really nice, but changing it up a little bit so that there's not quite so many decorative pieces. Sometimes if you go too decorative in every little thing, then it's, it's a lot on the page, and it ends up being a lot. I like a full spread. I fill in my uh, planner spreads with tons of writing throughout the week, but I want some just more basic boxes mixed in as well. And again, I'm trying to make sure that there's going to be a box on every day so that I have plenty of places to write and to kind of maintain the schedule. All right, sometimes I start with the sidebar, but in this case, I'm doing the sidebar more towards the end. I'd love to use this swing sticker because I think it is adorable. So I'm trying to figure out if I can put it maybe hanging off of a box. I just want it to make sense. I don't want it to be swinging from nowhere, which again is a little bit crazy. It's just a little bit too wide to fit with the standard box. So that one's not gonna work this time around. Instead, I am gonna use this long vertical box, but I'm going to use these gorgeous galoshes. I think they're adorable with the fall florals coming out. They can sit on top of this particular box. Let me just do a little white out. I kind of wish there was nothing over here on the side. Let me know what you think. Do you wish the Happy Planner had absolutely nothing or do you like the dot grid versus the lines? Do you like how that functions for you? Let me know in the comments below. I would love it to be completely blank or at least to have that be an option with a planner or two. All right, there are a few more chances to add some decorative pieces onto this spread, and I happen to have a few more stickers in this sticker pack. So I'm gonna choose the pillows right here, and we're going to layer them behind some of these boxes just to add a little something extra. And I love the thickness of these rainbow boxes. The quality of the stickers is so good. It makes it really easy actually to move the sticker paper, which for me, is a game changer because I do move stickers all the time when I'm planning on my spreads. And then the last thing that I wanted to do was to add a phrase. I didn't really see one that I wanted. However, I like this little chalkboard. It says, I love fall. And so we're going to add that right here. And that's pretty much going to be it for this spread. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will link things down below if you want to check out any of these sticker books, but I do want to encourage you to go check out what is in your stash, see what you haven't used in a year, and pull out those stickers that you have fallen in love with in the past. 
I want to give a shout out to all of my Patreon members. Patreon is an excellent way to support your favorite creators. It is a fun community over there, and there's lots of extra perks that you can receive by being a member. So if you want to check out Patreon and maybe start your seven-day free trial today, you can find the link down in the description box below. All right, I hope that you have a fabulous day, and as always, keep it creative.